Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a day in my life per the title of this video. This morning was pretty much a chill morning. It's about 9.30 right now. I had just uploaded a video, so I was responding to some comments, going through my emails. It's like a typical work day morning. I'm also watching Harry Potter. I don't know, I like woke up this morning and was like, I just need to watch Harry Potter. I don't know what it was, but I currently have it playing right now and it's just like so cozy. I'm also drinking out of my Slytherin mug. If you guys know what your house is, comment down below. I'm super curious to know, like, do I have more Hufflepuff followers? Do I have Slytherin followers? Gryffindor? Ravenclaw. My dad and my brother are Ravenclaws. My mom's a Hufflepuff and I am a Slytherin, which is not a bad thing. Everyone thinks Slytherins are so bad, but they're not that bad. They're just very like independent, I think. So today I want the intention of this day to be health. Health and wellness, I'm gonna be sharing um, a fitness clothing haul with you guys from Fabletics, which I'll explain in a little bit. I'm also going to the gym. I need to plan out my workouts. I might do a plan with me for this weekend or like for my week. Um, in this video, I don't know yet because I just said that recently, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, maybe some self-care stuff, and yeah. So, welcome to a day in my life. Cheers to health and wellness. As I mentioned before, this video is going to be a partnership with Fabletics, which is a fitness clothing line, super, super trendy, super affordable prices, and they also have sizes to match any type of body type. It is actually owned by Kate Hudson, which if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of. I literally have her book here on my fireplace. She's just like an amazing person. So anything to support her, I'm totally for. So I have a few different outfits to do a quick try on haul with you guys. And then I also got a gym bag, which I'll do like a what's in my gym bag clip if you guys want. So yeah, let me try them on real quick and show you guys what they look like. So here's the first outfit. Um, it's very spring. I really, really like these. So the first pair of leggings, it's like a dusty pink full length legging. They also have like a little pocket here for your keys when you are on the go. And then you have the bra, which I really, really like. My favorite part of the bra is the back. It's so cute. Here is outfit number two. These leggings are so nice. I love them. They have like two pockets on the side for your phone. So they have one on each side and then they also have the little slot here for your keys and then the top is just a simple white tee but you can untie this and tie it like behind your back you can tie it in a bow i like to do a little side knot i just think this is such a cute outfit here is outfit number three and definitely my favorite i love these leggings. So they're just simple black leggings, but they have like mesh material, kind of like cutouts, and I just think they're so sleek looking. And then the top is so comfortable. I don't know what this material is, but it's so stretchy and comfortable and it's so like form fitting the crop is at a perfect length it's going to be whatever color bra you have underneath your shirt i just think this one is so comfortable and this one's definitely my favorite look so far i'm wearing the same leggings but i put on this maroon shirt i really really like the color of this they have like open holes here on the top so it's very breathable um they also have it like all along the back as well this one is, again, super form-fitting, and I really, really like the color. I also got this jacket, which is the same material that's made out of the other purple shirt, and it has the thumb holes in it as well. So I just love the, like, collar of it, how it's so form-fitting. And I also picked up this gigantic oversized hoodie. I love this. It's so comfortable. I'll probably wear this a lot to yoga because um, in hot yoga, I get, like, the chills after. It's really weird. But I would just take it off, obviously, work out, and then put it on when I'm going going to and from my car. I actually wore this in a recent video of mine. Um, if you guys watched my self-help book videos, I was wearing this. So I put 
this one back on because it's my favorite and I'm going to go to the gym in it. Um, but if you guys like any of these clothing pieces or outfits, I'll leave them linked in the description box. I really like Fabletics just because it's super affordable, but they also have super high quality clothes. They're not going to be the type of clothes where you're like bending down and you can like see through the leggings. They're very thick material, very well made, but at great prices. Plus, it's Kate Hudson's line. I love her so much. She always is so positive and happy and just a very inspiring woman. So anything to support her, I'm totally down for. So thanks again, Fabletics, for sponsoring this video. So something else that I got from Fabletics is this gym bag. I am obsessed. If you guys don't know, I've been using my purse to go to the gym and throwing everything in like an oversized purse, which is just like a little bit extra <laughs> when going to the gym. So I got this one from Fabletics. Noah automatically looked at it and was like, oh my god, that looks like the Range Rover seats. Like, the material just like looks luxurious, but it's not expensive for a gym bag at all. So, I really like it. The color is just so nice, too. I'm going to do a quick what's in my gym bag um, for you guys so that you guys can see what's in my gym bag. I don't know. I really like these style of videos. I think they're really interesting. Um, so, let's dive into it. So, the first thing that I have in my gym bag are a couple um, workout stuff that my gym doesn't have so I have these sliders I'm probably gonna be using them today so I'll show you guys a little bit of the exercises that I do with these and then I also have my resistance band this one is in the strength heavy and I use a lot of these for like my leg workouts um, if I'm not using the gym equipment there you can do so much with these it's insane nothing else really interesting I usually have um, a second pair of clothes for after I take a shower but I don't obviously have that right now I have shower shoes because I'm a germaphobe and I don't want to be stepping on like gross stuff in the shower. And then I also have a beauty bag for when I do shower. I'll show you guys what's in that. I have a hairbrush, some makeup remover, my favorite face lotion. This is the Neutrogena Naturals. It smells so good. Deodorant. This one is extra strength because I sweat like a pig when I'm at the gym. I have an extra hair tie, a travel sized shampoo bottle, and then also some simple face wash. Today is actually Friday, so I'm on my last little bit of working out. By the way, my face is super red because I did a facial peel yesterday. So if you guys are wondering like what the hell happened to your skin, I did a facial peel so it's still kind of like, I don't know, peeling. Um, but yeah, today's Friday. I have pretty much accomplished everything that I want to accomplish this week. Today, all I have left to do is cardio, so I'm probably going to do the Stairmaster, and then abs. So I'll show you guys, like, a workout of, like, what I do, and finishing off my fitness routine for this week. This is the best feeling ever. So something I completely forgot to mention is I usually put my purse also in my bag, which has some stuff for the gym as well, which are my AirPods. These things are such a lifesaver. I really hated the wires and I don't know, they're expensive, but finding like a really good pair of wireless headphones is just so much better than having to deal with all the wires and stuff. So it was a really, really good purchase for myself. Also, I have my gym membership card. So that's in my purse, which I completely forgot to film because my purse was in the kitchen um and then also i usually bring a huge water bottle um i like the hydro flask water bottle this keeps it very very cold and it's so big this is the 40 ounce yeah and so it's nice because i don't have to keep refilling it over and over and over again and it also has a straw so that's what's in my gym bag <laughs> updated version <laughs>
is my post workout meal. I just warmed up one of these gluten free English muffins. Now I'm gonna be 100% honest, these are made with like brown rice. I'm not gluten free or anything, but I just wanted to try it and I honestly love it, but I feel like it's a very unique flavor. It has like a very spongy taste. I really like the texture, but it's very different. So just heads up if anyone's gonna go out and buy these. I really like them, but um, I just put some peanut butter on one. I just have some organic creamy peanut butter from Whole Foods. The only ingredient that is in this is just peanuts. So pretty simple, pretty healthy, and I'm just gonna snack on this while responding to some emails, going through some more comments, and yeah, that's my little snack of the day. So I just drew myself a bath. I'm gonna be reading He Is Here because he has to follow me everywhere. So tell them hello. He's all cuddled up and ready to relax too. So I am out of the shower. It's actually a little bit dark. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go, much better. I did some work, I did some self care. I took a bath, red, and I did my nails. I did it like this little pink color, I guess, for spring, I don't know. I, I try to like keep my nails based on like the season that we're in. I don't know. So I can officially cross off my final fitness goals for the week. So I'm good with the cardio and I'm also good with abs. And I'm done. That's the best feeling ever. Throw it away. And on to the next one, which I was originally going to plan my week with you guys for today. I am sorry, hold on, all over the place. I was originally going to do a plan with me and do like a grocery haul with you guys for this video but i honestly just do them on sundays so i think i'm gonna plan my weekend here is my planner like i told you guys we're not doing groceries today and we're gonna do a weekend prep i've already kind of highlighted everything that i've done today my dad actually had a surgery today so i have to go to his place around like five to make sure that he's recovering okay. So I'm going to my dad's. And then I also have date night tonight. So if you guys are not aware, Noah and I alternate every single Friday for date night and we surprise the other person with something to do on Fridays. Tonight is his date night. So basically I'm surprising him with something that he likes to do. And then next Friday he'll surprise me with something that I like. So we have that going on tonight. Um, Saturday, I have a few things to do. I want to meet up with my mom i have to return her pictures because i have her pictures um for a video that i did and then i also have to get a book from her um and then she also needs to help me with quickbooks because we still have not found an opportunity to figure all that out and you guys know that's like top priority right now um and then i also have to go to the bank they close at one so i'm going to keep that in mind and then at six o'clock i have a dinner with a friend lindsay if you guys know lindsay we are going to a fancy dinner um having some wine and appetizers it'll be really nice and fun and then as for sunday you guys know i don't usually plan sundays that much like this is the one day i don't really have anything to do so basically what i'm going to do on sundays if you guys haven't already seen my sunday routine i'll pop it on the screen um but i prep my week for like work and fitness and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then also, I need to clean my house. I'm also going to go grocery shopping. Yeah, Sundays are pretty much a free for all. If I wanna work on Sundays or Saturdays, I usually don't plan it. It's like usually if I have nothing to do and I kind of feel like doing it. Nothing too crazy planning wise for the weekend and that's kind of how it should be. Um, the weekends are usually when I just relax <laughs> and try my best not to work. I really love what I do, so it's really hard to put down the work. Now I'm going to look up and try to find Noah like a good date night. I was initially going to go to the movies with him. We have this like super fancy movie place where there's like a bar and like food that they serve to you and like these big cushiony seats. It's just like a really cool place. Um, we were gonna go watch that movie with Seth Rogen. Sorry, my phone keeps beeping with uh, Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron, but it's sold out, so I can't really do that. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna take him to um, an Indian place near me because he loves Indian food and I'm kind of craving naan bread. So um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because um, like I said, I need to go visit my dad 
and I'm having date night tonight and I kind of just want to relax and not vlog anything so yeah that's going to be the end of this video I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and got some fitness and health motivation from it if you did please give it a thumbs up that really really helps me and my channel thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all in a future video bye guys so I totally forgot to mention that if you guys go to the link in my description box, you guys can actually get two of the Fabletics leggings for only $24. It's a complete steal, so I apologize, but yeah, I'm letting you guys know now. Um, it'll go by really quickly, and it's really a no-brainer. Two leggings for $24, like I can't. So, yeah, back to the video.